You're scrolling down on your feed and you see a baddie. And since you're home alone, you pop up the hub, you do the job, but then post nut clarity kicks in and you think to yourself, what have I done? But why does this always happen? To figure it out, we've got to rewind to when things were a little harder to comprehend. When you're aroused, your brain is basically working overtime. The pleasure centers reward pathways and emotional processors are firing in every direction. But here's where it gets interesting. The most critical part of your brain, the prefrontal cortex, which controls decision making, attention, and social behavior, decides to clock out at this very pivotal moment. But why? Well, during ejaculation, blood flow to the prefrontal cortex drops dramatically. That's right, the part of your brain responsible for making smart, rational decisions is temporarily out of office. And before you start thinking, wait, is it because all the blood is being redirected elsewhere? Yeah, you're not wrong. Sounds like a bad dad joke, but it's actually rooted in science. Once it's all over, the blood flow returns to your prefrontal cortex, bringing with it a wave of clarity. Suddenly, everything snaps back into focus, and you're left questioning your actions. But why does post nut clarity exist in the first place? Well, your ancestors had only two things on their to-do list. Number one, survive. Number two, reproduce. But let's be real, if cavemen were walking around turned on 24-7, who's gonna fight off that saber-toothed tiger? Post-nut clarity was nature's way of saying, it's time to lock in. It helped early humans snap out of their haze and get back to protecting and providing for their family. However, have you ever wondered how your body goes from, I need this now, to let's get my life together in a matter of seconds? Well, right when you're in the mood, two very important hormones, dopamine and testosterone kick in. They're slow and steady, hyping you up, getting your body all geared up for that reward moment. Yet here's where it gets spicy. As things heat up, blood flow increases, aka you get a boner. Then something really strange happens, cortisol, the stress hormone, kicks in. But what's cortisol even doing here when we're trying to have fun? Well, it turns out that cortisol isn't just about making you freak out over deadlines. It's there to make sure you're focused, efficient, and ready to, well, finish strong. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, post nut clarity sounds like a nightmare for long-term relationships. After all, it makes you second guess everything. Ever wonder why that happens? Well, after ejaculation, your prolactin levels, which are your post-arousal hormones, spike like crazy. This basically puts the brakes on dopamine production, but that's not all. Along with the drop in dopamine, serotonin is released, which calms you down and helps relax your body. All this leads to the fight or flight system shutting down, and suddenly your body's in chill mode. No more frantic thoughts, just peace and quiet. But it gets even weirder. Post nut, men go through a temporary phase where sexual arousal is a little impossible. This is thanks to the high levels of prolactin and oxytocin, the bonding hormone in your system. Now, oxytocin isn't just about making you feel all cuddly, it's actually a relationship game changer. While post nut clarity may make you feel momentarily less interested in getting busy, it actually creates a perfect window for bonding, having honest conversations, and strengthening the emotional side of your relationship. Fun fact, this is actually why sometimes you feel lonely afterwards, there's no one to connect with. It's just you, all alone, in your room. So, after all that, you might think, alright, I get it. Once post nut clarity kicks in, men are just done with sex, right? Well, not exactly. Let me hit you with a little story. It all began with a visit to a farm in the 1920s, where President Calvin Coolidge and his wife were getting a tour. While they were walking around, Mrs. Coolidge couldn't help but notice something rather interesting. The roosters were just mating constantly, without any rest between sessions. Curiously, she turned to the tour guide and asked, how many hens does a rooster mate with in a day? The guide responded, well over 15, ma'am. Intrigued, Mrs. Coolidge glanced at her husband and said, you should tell the president about these roosters. So President Coolidge, a bit puzzled, Puzzled, asked the tour guide, did the roosters mate with the same hen all day? The guide replied, no Mr. President, they need a new hen to keep things going. Without missing a beat, President Coolidge nodded and said to the tour guide, now tell Mrs. Coolidge the same thing. And just like that, the Coolidge effect was born. The phenomenon where males, whether it's roosters, humans, or any species, experience a boost in sexual interest when presented with a new mate, even after reaching a point of sexual saturation with one partner. But if President Coolidge can feel post nut clarity, does that mean that Mrs. Coolidge can also feel it? In other words, do women experience it too? Well, a 2015 study found that nearly 46% of women reported feeling clearer or more introspective after sex. So is it possible to not feel post nut clarity at all? Well, yes. And there are three different reasons why you might not feel it. 
Number one, high levels of testosterone or wonky hormones can block the usual mental aha moment you get after the deed, so turns out sometimes more isn't more. Number two, emotional detachment. If you're already stressed, depressed, or even just burnt out, your brain just doesn't care about the sigh of relief. Number three, the most dangerous of all, it's now part of your routine. The brain stops treating it like anything special, overstimulation from too much cord can make the experience boring, making clarity feel like a myth. And if you've got some extreme kinks or fetishes, forget about it. You're always chasing that next level of excitement. Your brain skips the clarity altogether because it's already looking for the next big thing. You're essentially raising the dopamine bar so high that your brain forgets to drop it back down. So that's why it's important to keep a balance with this habit. Because when you have a balance, you can actually enjoy the benefits. What are those? Number one, it's a natural painkiller. Your body releases endorphins that flood your system, giving you a euphoric feeling. These chemicals don't just lift up your mood, they can actually relieve physical pain too. So if you've got a headache, post-nut clarity might just be your body's natural remedy. Dude, I want to jerk off! Fuck, I want to jerk off! Number two, reduced stress. Have you ever noticed that whenever you're sad or stressed, you crave a release? Well, that's also because of endorphins. Number three, it reduces the risk of kidney stones. A 2016 European urology study found out that ejaculation helps reduce the buildup of minerals in the urinary tract, lowering the risk of developing kidney stones. Number four, boosts immunity. Regular ejaculation enhances the body's defense mechanisms. Number four, anti-aging hack. Some studies showed that frequent ejaculation helps your telomeres remain longer over time. You see, telomeres are like caps that protect your DNA, and they get shorter as you age. But frequent ejaculation slows down that process and helps your cells stay healthier and younger. And with No Not November over, I don't know about you, but maybe it's time for Destroy December. But before that, you should watch this video on how corn affects your mind.